Hi again, this is the second version of the charger, this is the one with the menu. So let's start again, charger it's unplugged, let's plug it. Okay, we have the same welcome menu, but now it won't start until we go to the can communication menu. Okay, up and down to navigate between menus, select to enter the menu. So we have different sub menus in the set parameters. We have set current, set uh, state of charge, and set number of chargers. Okay. You go inside. We have to confirm again with two push, uh, pushing twice the, the start button. We see that we can change the power. Uh, as you saw before, uh, we were in the low uh, pr power preset which means it uh, by default uh, took us to 1.3 well I cannot choose here 1.3 because it's a, a multiplication of two amps but by pressing start again we confirm we go back next with target shock we change it for example 90 percent go back set number of chargers by default it's one, but we can uh, trick the charger into believing that there are more than one in case they share the same CAN communication. Let's put four to see how it works. Okay, uh, you see that we have to go to the back menu uh, each time we navigate between uh, menus. And let's go to CAN communication. We start CAN boost, push the button again, twice, and it will start. This is the same charging menu. As you see, the current it's uh, four times eleven. No, sorry, four times twelve, which is uh, oh, four. I don't remember. Four times uh, four times fourteen. Sorry, which is uh, close to this value. Of course, we are not putting this much current uh, to the bike because we are just multiplying the current fed from the controller. Sorry, from the charger to the controller, and the controller itself is multiplied. Here, these buttons do nothing, okay? If we keep pressed the stop button, we'll say pause by user. It takes uh, one second for the charger to stop. We hear it that it stopped the charge. If we keep press the button again, once, it will say can connect it. There's some errors here. I couldn't implement it the way I wanted, but the most important part is that it works. Again, it has the same reset button. The, the units are completely the same uh, box with the same features. It just changed the internal software. And uh, well, it's up to you to decide which one. In case I get some upgrades in the software, I will send you, but you see that if we are putting the max uh, power, uh, well, it's not the max power right now. We'll have to change it, but uh, the numbers are according to 1.4 kilowatts. If we want to change the parameters in this version, we have to pause, click in down, select back, and we can navigate again through the menus. Okay, 1.4 kilowatts, it was set. Let's put the maximum. Okay. Go back again. Can this communication can connect it. The good thing about this one is it won't stop the timer nor the charge capacity, which means that uh, we can uh, have all the data in real time. Right now we put 32 amps max, which multiplied by four, it's almost 120. Keep in mind that the charger itself, um, even though we have set 32 amps, the charger draws like uh, I don't remember, as, uh, I think it's uh, 0.7 amps to feed the controller, which means that, uh, well, uh, the charger is generating all the current, but some charger, some current is being fed to this, of course, not to the bike. That's why it won't say the, the correct number, only uh, always a little bit less than the real value. Uh, yep, we have put in all the current. Well, I hope you enjoy the controllers. 
And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Bye bye.